Honoring a hero, happening now, dozens of firefighters on hand after one of their own died in the line of duty, the bunting ceremony at his firehouse. We're gonna be there. Plus, Governor Cuomo taking action to protect women's rights here in Brooklyn when it comes to their health. And tens of thousands of Haitians are at risk of losing the temporary status, allowing them to legally live here in the U.S. But see how they're not going down without a fight. Well, as we go through the overnight, we're going to have some cold temperatures, increasing clouds. Showers by morning, maybe in some locations, a little bit of a wintry mix. And we're going to look at fair, breezy, and mild temperatures right on through the midweek. But another cool down is on the way. You're watching News 12. Hello, and thank you so much for joining us on our brand new set here at News 12 Brooklyn. I'm Jessica Cunnington, and we do want to get right to a developing story right now in Coney Island where a woman was attacked with an ax. News 12 Brooklyn reporter Hannah Klieger on West 33rd Street right outside the O'Dwyer Gardens to bring us more on that. That's right, Jessica. The investigation continues into that 53-year-old woman who was struck in the head with an axe today. Police say they found her heavily bleeding inside of her apartment on the fifth floor. There is a suspect in custody, and sources say they believe that suspect is the woman's son. Now, police telling us that woman lived inside of